Hello everyone, I'm Anuj Jaggi and I'm a legal intern with Lexus and Company and the topic for today's video presentation is kinds of a contract. So firstly, there is contracts on the basis of creation. Uh, under this, there is express contract. So express contract, express contract is one which one which is made by words spoken or written. For example, um, X says to Y, uh, I will buy you a car for rupees ten thousand. Y says to X, I am ready to buy the car for rupees ten thousand. It is an express contract made orally. Further, there is implied contract. An implied contract is one which is made otherwise than by verb, verb spoken or written. It is inferred from the conduct of a person or the circumstance of the particular case. For example, X, uh, a coolie in uniform, picks up the bag of wire to carry it from railway station to the uh, wherever uh, Y asked, being asked by Y to do so and Y allowed it. In this case, there is an implied offer by the coolie and an implied acceptance by the passenger. Now, there is no implied contract between the coolie and the passenger is and, and the passenger is bound to pay for the services of the coolie. Now, uh, moving ahead, there is quasi or constructive contract which is implied in law. It is a contract in which there is no intention either side to make a contract but the law imposes contract. In such a contract, rights and obligations arise not by agreement between the practice but by operation of law. For example, uh, uh, where certain books are delivered to a wrong address, the addressee is under an obligation to either pay for them or return them. Now, further contracts on the basis of execution. So, executed contract. It is a contract where both the parties to the contract have fulfilled their respective have fulfilled their respective obligations under the contract. For example, X sells X of X offers to sell his car to Y for rupees 1 lakh and Y accepts X's offer. X delivers the car to Y and Y pays rupees 1 lakh to X. It is an executed contract. Now, uh, second type is the executory contract. It is a contract where both the parties to the contract have still to perform their uh, respective obligations. For example, um, X offers to sell his car to Y for rupees 1 lakh and Y accepts the offer. If the car has not been uh, has not yet been delivered by X and the price has not been paid by Y, it is an executory contract. Now further there is the partly executed and partly executory contract. It is a contract where one of the parties to the contract has fulfilled his obligation on his behalf and the other party is yet to uh, perform his obligation. For example, um, X offers to sell his car to Y for rupees 1 lakh on credit of one month. Y accepts the offer. X sells the car to Y. Here the contract is executed as to X and executory contract for Y. Uh, so further moving ahead, uh, contract the various contracts under on the basis of enforceability enforceability so on the basis of legality of the contract there is um, valid contract void agreement voidable contract and unenforceable agreement and illegal agreement so a valid contract is a contract which satisf which satisfies all the conditions prescribed by law and hence it is known as the valid contract. According to section 2, 2H of the Contract Act, it is an agreement enforceable by law and, and an agreement becomes enforceable by law when all the essential elements of the valid contract are present. The second one is voidable contract. According to section 2I, an agreement which is enforceable by law at the option of one or more of the parties thereto but not at the option of the other or others is a voidable contract. Thus a voidable contract is one 
is one which is enforceable by law at which one which is enforceable by law at the option of one of the parties only until it is avoided or uh, until until it is avoided or rescinded by the other party entitled to do so by exercising his option in that behalf then it is a valid contract usually a contract becomes voidable only when the consent of one of the parties to the contract is obtained by coercion undue influence undue influence undue influence or misrepresentation or fraud such a contract is voidable at the option on the aggrieved parties that is the party whose cons- consent was so caused section 9 under section 19 and section 19a but the aggrieved party must exercise his option of rejecting the contract within a reasonable time and before the rights of the third parties intervene otherwise the contract cannot be uh, cannot be repudiated uh, an, an example under this can be um, a threatens to shoot b if he does not sell his new bajaj scooter to a and a uh, for rupees 20000 b agrees the contract has been made has been brought about by coercion and is voidable at the option of d another example under this can be uh, a intending to deceive b falsely rep- represents that 500 quintals of indigo are made annually at a's factory and thereby induces b <coughs> to buy the factory the contract has been caused by fraud and is voidable at the option of b and um, further um, another example yes another example is x threatens to kill y and if it does not if if the if he does not sell his house for rupees 1 lakh to x y sells his house to x and receives the payment here Y's consent has been obtained by coercion, and hence this contract is voidable at the option of Y, the aggrieved party. If Y decides to avoid the contract, to avoid the contract, he will have to return the one lakh rupee, the was amount of one lakh, which he had received from X. If Y does not exercise his option to repudiate the contract within a reasonable time and in the me- and in the meantime z purchases that uh, another person z purchases that house from x for 1 lakh in good faith why cannot repudiate the contract so this was the first part of the video of kinds of contract and if you have any kind of question or queries please feel free to ask thank you